Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis continuing our playlist called Pulmonology or Pulmonary Medicine. In the previous videos, we have talked about cystic fibrosis, how to diagnose it, how to treat it. Today, we'll talk about a mnemonic about cystic fibrosis, the ugly autosomal recessive disease, which is the most common fatal hereditary disorders in Caucasians in the United States. With that being said, now let's get started. First, here is a very quick summary about cystic fibrosis. It's autosomal recessive, chlorine channel mutation or problem. Problem in the CFTR, to be specific. What's the genetic pathogenesis? There is trinucleotide deletion on chromosome 7, CFTR mutation. The typical patient is diagnosed at 5 months old usually Caucasian of a Northern European ancestry. Trinucleotide deletion, as you know. Symptoms. Thick sputum with copious amount, cupfuls of pus, and sometimes there is green sputum. On your exam, when you have a cystic fibrosis patient with a green sputum, they are talking about Pseudomonas, baby. Bilateral nasal polyp, pancreatic insufficiency, meconium ileus, rectal prolapse, and clubbing. Recurrent infections and pneumonia is the most common cause of death. Chloride sweat test to diagnose and serum immunoreactive trypsin or trypsinogen. And you can do chest x-ray and CT scan. As you know, you will find bronchiectasis most of the time. Oral supplementation for treatment, especially replace those vitamins, the K, E, D, and vitamin A. And these are the fat soluble vitam vitamins. Replace the pancreatic enzymes. Use Ivacaftor, which is a CFTR potentiator, and Dornase Alpha, which is a famous mucolytic. And here is a mnemonic. The C mnemonic for cystic fibrosis. Everything here is a C letter or a C sound. It's autosomal recessive cystic fibrosis. Chromosome 7. Misfolded protein. CFTR mutation. CL channels. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is an ugly bacteria that affects patients with cystic fibrosis and usually the sputum is described as green and in color thanks to the pyocyanin pigment, pigment of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Visit secretions, chronic sinusitis, nasal polyps bilaterally, meconium ileus, diagnosis chloride sweat test or you can use the trypsinogen immunoreactive test. So it is serum trypsinogen. Treatment, CFTR potentiators such as Ivacaftor. And also you can use mucolytic and here's another C for you. If you are struggling to learn about Legionella mycoplasma pseudomonas rhinovirus, staph and streptin E. coli, check out this website called Picmonic. The link is in the description below. They have excellent mnemonics. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, smash like and hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. Get all of my notes, all of my premium videos, all of my cases, including the slides of this video and every other videos, organized in Dropbox folders at patreon.com slash Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.